Hello children, and we're busy with our memory work for geography. We've been learning the countries and capitals of Africa, and so in this part we are going to revise those. And I just want you to see a map of Africa, um, just so that you can see that you now know the countries and capitals of the entire African continent. And um, I know that we just added on the, the, the northern part of Africa last time, but I hope you've been learning those as well. So, uh, for now we're just going to do A to Z of the countries that we were familiar with just before we um, ended the first term, and then uh, towards the end of the video we'll look at the countries that we learned in the video, the last video in the North Africa. And then we're going to add on some countries and capitals of the Middle East. So, let's get started. Uh, right, I want you to say the names to read with me. Angola, and then the capital at home. And I want to see if you can get the name of the, the capital before I click. Angola, Rwanda. Benin, Porto Novo. Botswana, Gaborone, Burundi. Gitega, Cameroon, Yaounda, Central Africa Republic, Bangui. And there's a lovely photograph of Luanda. Democratic Republic of Congo, Kinshasa. The Republic of Congo, Brazzaville, Cote d'Ivoire, Yamasukro, Djibouti. Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Malabo, Eswatini or Swaziland, Mbabane. And here's a beautiful photo of Djibouti, not the capital, but the country. Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, Gabon, Libreville, Ghana, Accra, Kenya, Nairobi, Lesotho, Maseru. And here we go, there's a lovely photo of Ethiopia. Look at that cloudscape and landscape, very dramatic lighting. Right, Liberia, Monrovia, Madagascar, Antananarivo, Malawi, Lulongwe, Mauritius, Port Louis, Mozambique, Maputo, Namibia, Windhoek. And here is a photograph from the Namibian Namib Nauclift Park. I've been there. It is amazing. Now, there's so many different photos that can be shown of Namibia, but this is kind of shows the iconic red sand dunes and the Thames book that you find in the Namib Nauclift Park. Nigeria. Abuja, Rwanda, Kigali, Sierra Leone, Freetown, Somalia, Mogadishu, South Africa, and I can hear you all at home saying Bloemfontein, Cape Town, and Pretoria. And here is a photo of Pretoria, not as such, but these are the kinds of clouds that you can find in Pretoria. And I don't think we see these in Cape Town. So Pretoria is known for its wonderful electric high high felt storms, and um, so I, for me this cap this captures something that Pretoria has that we don't. South Sudan, Juba, Tanzania, Dodoma, Togo, Lome, Uganda, Kampala, Zambia, Lusaka, Zimbabwe. Harare, and there's a photo of Zimbabwe. Right, now we're going to move on to the northern part of Africa. These are newer, and we've been learning these during lockdown. And um, let's see how we go. Eritrea, Asmara, Sudan, Khartoum, Chad, N'Djamena, Niger, Niamey, Mali, Bamako, Burkina Faso, Ugandugu, remember that one? 
uh, Oogadugu. And there is an aerial photograph of the Nile flowing through Sudan. Right, Guinea, Conakry, Guinea-Bissau, Bissau, the Gambia, Banjul, Senegal, Dakar, Mauritania, Nouakchott, Western Sahara, Leone. And there, those are um, artificial salt pans in Senegal. That is a drone photograph. Right, Morocco, Rabat, Algeria, Algiers, Tunisia, Tunis, Libya, Tripoli, Egypt, Cairo. And there we go, that's a photo of the coastline in Morocco. It looks so colourful and beautiful. And um, I just want us to pray for Africa with this beautiful slide or this beautiful photo in front of us. Father God, we thank you so much that the land of Africa was made by you and the people of Africa were made by you too. And Lord, I pray that you would look after all the countries of, of Africa and all the people that live in it. And I pray, Lord, that the gospel would go throughout Africa and that people in the most remote parts of Africa will come to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ and will put their faith in him and will have everlasting life. Amen. Right, we're now going to move to countries and capitals of the Middle East. And so I've got the world map for us again. And there we can see there's Africa in the context of the rest of the world. And the Middle East is actually this part over here. And you can see why it's called the Middle East. Well, because it's in the middle, but it's also slightly to the east. Okay, so let's dive in and zoom in, rather. Um, here's uh, the darker shaded countries are the countries that make up the Middle East. You can see there's, there's Libya, Sudan, uh, Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, Iraq, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, uh, Iran, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, and Afghanistan. Okay, so not as many countries and capitals to memorize as in Africa, but um, it certainly gets us going, doesn't it? And we're going to zoom in even more because in today's uh, video, we're going to look at Libya, Sudan, and Egypt. We already know those. And then Lebanon, Lebanon, Syria, Turkey, Iraq, and Jordan. So let's get started. Sudan is Khartoum. We know this. Libya, can you guess? Tripoli. Egypt, Cairo. Israel, Jerusalem. Uh, Lebanon, Beirut. And here's a beautiful photo of Engedi in Israel right near the Dead Sea. It's in the wilderness area, which makes it all the more astonishing and beautiful to find this oasis there. Syria. Damascus. A very, very ancient city. Uh, it's mentioned in the book of Acts. It's the, the, the city that Paul was on the way to, to arrest uh, Christians. And he was on the road to Damascus when the Lord stopped him in his tracks and revealed himself to Paul, and Paul became a believer. Turkey, Ankara, Iraq, Baghdad, Jordan, Amman. And that is a photo of a place called Cappadocia in Turkey. Doesn't it look beautiful? And I'm going to end on this slide for us to pray. Amazingly enough, this is a photo from Syria. It snows in Syria, and it's just such an unlikely photo that I really wanted to include it in our in this um, video. So let's pray for the Middle East. Father God, thank you so much for the countries in the Middle East. Thank you so much that we 
um, it has such an incredibly long history for us that uh, the Lord Jesus was born in this part of the world. Um, and Lord, I pray that in the, these countries that are often so torn apart by war and um, by difficulties, Lord, I pray that you would keep people safe that you would bring people to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, and so that they may know the joy of belonging to you, even in the midst of hardship. In Jesus' name, Amen. So thank you, children. Please keep watching that so that you can learn your countries and capitals, refresh yourself about Africa, and learn the new ones for the Middle East.